Welcome to Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, I've got a little job at uh, hand here today. Um, this is uh, my sear lead for my stick lead holder, and uh, I this is a this is a Tweco. It's a little bit different than uh, most styles, but this is the style that I most often preferred. I don't do a lot of stick welding, but uh, when I do, I really like uh, using this. I just like the way my hand fits around it, and it's just more comfortable to use. Um, but I haven't used it in a while, but one problem that I'm having with it is it only has a 10 foot long lead. And, uh, you know, I'm hooking it up to my machine right here and I'm limited to just an area right here. So what I thought uh, I would do is replace this to a 20 foot long lead and that's going to give me some flexibility to get just anywhere around my table. Uh, the other thing is over time, uh, these uh, dense plug, uh, plug connectors right here, you can see this one's rotted. And uh, when you go to put this on the machine, it just spins and slides. So it's a good time to replace the DENS plug connector, put a new 20 foot cable on this thing, and uh, get this thing back in service. So let's fix this to get it done. We're gonna move over to my uh, workbench to get it done. Here's the product we're gonna be using. Um, I got this on Amazon. Now this is a 20 foot section, or 20 foot piece, I should say, of number two. Uh, flexible durable welding cable that's what it is stuff's pretty expensive I think I paid like $40 for 20 feet of this and then this is your standard DINS plug connector um, I think this was uh, about seven dollars on Amazon uh, they're fairly inexpensive so let's go ahead and uh, get started okay so the first thing I'm going to do is take the head off the stinger right here and this thing just screws off and once we're going to get this thing screwed off right here and then this piece comes out and i believe there's a spring in here and then this thing pulls out the end and there is the end of the cable right there so we'll go ahead and we'll take this piece off right here and that's what you're left with just a piece of stranded uh, stranded wire while we're at it, we may as well just go ahead and, uh, and take the, uh, strip the wire completely down and get rid of this old DENS connector. Actually, we don't even need to. I'm throwing this away. So this part of it's junk. All right, let's open up this uh, cable right here. feet of it so I'm just going to open up a little bit right here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, strip this back about an inch or so is all you really need And there it is, the fresh end right here. I like to twist these things together. Sometimes they come with like a copper ferrule that goes over the top. Uh, this one here, uh, the way this is designed, I'm just gonna go ahead and just slide this right in here like this. It's in there nice and tight, and they're all the way. I'm just gonna tighten it up. All right, it's in there nice and tight. Now, yeah, just a matter of putting it all back together. Things are fairly easy to work on right here, especially this handle. I think even the other style uh, stinger leads very similar all right there we go well there's one end done let's get the other one done okay so here's the other end now we're going to put the dens connector on here these things are are fairly simple this is the copper ferrule that i was talking about um, and we are going we are going to use this on, on this one right here and we'll take this over to the vise we'll get this installed here when we're ready 
But for right now, these things just come apart, and this is uh, this is the lug right here. So what we're going to want to do is take the uh, the rubber part, put it over. We'll slide it out of the way for now. Get my knife, and again, you know, it's just about an inch or so back on the cable is what you want to do is to, is strip this uh, strip the cable back. I'm just using a knife right here to do that. That's probably the most uh, easiest way, unless you guys got some really big strippers or something at hand. But uh, this 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 works pretty good too. All right, so there it is. Now we got the bare wire right here again. I'm just giving a little bit of a twist, and this is where the little ferrule comes in handy. This is going to go on right here. Let's take this over to the vise. If this thing smashed down, we'll be able to put the rest of it together. All right, so I'm over here at the vise. Now, we're not going to actually be using the vise part. I'm just going to use the anvil part of this right here. So, uh, again, here's the cable right here, and I'm just going to slide this, uh, this little copper ferrule over the top. I'm going to be using these pliers right here and kind of pinch it together. These, these are armor pliers. I just got these recently, and uh, these things are never really used them, but uh, wow, they look like they're pretty cool. So, basically, we're just going to crank, uh, crimp this down a little bit. Uh, it's kind of difficult to do, but uh, you know, do the best we can to kind of squeeze this thing around there a little bit. And we've got that squeezed on there. So now what I want to do is uh, to keep this on, I just want to use like a punch. And we're just going to kind of tap this if I can on here and give this thing a little, a little punch. Kind of like that, just smash it in. I'm going to probably do another one here right next to it. And, uh, you know, that's about it. Let's see if we can straighten this thing up just a little bit more. It might need to be a little bit more round to go in there. All right, so here's the part right here. We're just going to go ahead and put it in, just like that. And I've got this little Allen screw, and we're just going to tighten it up. nice and tight <clears throat> that's pretty good you can see it's locked in there nice and tight only thing left to do now is to slide this thing over now there is a right and a wrong way for these things to go on I want to get it lined up the way it's supposed to get lined up here it looks like it's going to go just like that right there and the easiest way I've found to get this thing pushed in is to just just maybe come to a hard surface like this and just see if we can just give it a push and sometimes it'll just go right over the top of it just like that. And there it is. It's all complete. Your dense connector is on and your torch leader's lead is done. And let's take it over to the welder and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the old cable right here. Uh, this is something, I'm gonna probably hang on to this. You never know when you're gonna need a uh, cable. This is, uh, it's, it, the total length in this is really about eight and a half feet uh, with the torch uh, lead holder on there. Um, it makes it almost 10 feet, but we're going to set this thing aside. I'll save that for something later. Here's the new cable right here. Everything feels nice and fresh and, and solid. This is a flexible cable as well. Got the new DENS cup plug connector on there. I'm just going to plug that in right here. And now you can see that I've got plenty of cable to get anywhere around my welding table and even anywhere else if I needed to. 20 foot is plenty long enough. So uh, anyways, this is going to work out good for me in the shop. Uh, I've also done this to a couple of my grounding cables right here on a couple of the machines right here. I believe they only come 8 feet or some of them are maybe 10 feet long. I'll replace those as well, uh, uh, 15 foot cables as well. That really helps out. I hope, this, uh, hope you guys learned something from this. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.